What's up, everybody? Cam and Chris back again with another video. Back again. This time we got uh, Anton Daniels again. He say, mm. lead the hoes. Lead that hoe. Oh, lead that hoe. Where she at? Mm. Black woman says men have to earn a woman's respect over time. Does that have to say black woman? Can you just say women? Women? You don't think all women feel like... So you think like... this is towards black women? Yeah, I do. I think he... Yeah, I think he... So you think right anti Daniels focused stuff towards black women and not all women? Yeah, I think it's toward black women. Do you think he do that to because he feel like he love black women? So he, you know, if it's your family, you might be like, hey, I don't care what they doing. You need to do. But I don't know if his criticism, criticism come across as positive criticism constructive. constructive criticism or if it's more just like he bashing bashing and that's why I, that's why mm. i get torn at because it's it, it's it's all in the way you say stuff mm -hmm. i always say that about stuff it's not what you say it's how you say it yeah and i think the way he say stuff to black women it's not constructive it's more <laughs> bashing you from what so? i've seen so far, now, I don't know what he about to say about this woman. But... <laughs> you already know it ain't gonna be well. Well, let's see, cause he—I mean, we don't even know what she gonna say. Right, we don't know what she gonna say. But I'm just saying, from what I've seen, it just seems like he's more. He, you think he go? He too harsh on I black think he women. Too harsh on black women. And it's okay to tell us, try to tell but, us, point out so, some things. So, and... do you think y'all like the video? Please and subscribe, please. please. But do you think that? He first of all, everybody gonna come for me after this because if you are, <laughs> I also think that most men who listen to and to, again they're gonna come for me probably agree with what he's saying. So I may they may be so saying that's, I'm that's why I'm that woman you. that he talking about. Do you think no nah, you ain't not, you ain't nothing like but look do you Did think you, he you need to put me in my place back. What I was gonna say. I'm sorry. Do you agree with him? Do you think he has good points? You just don't like the delivery. Is that it? Or you you or you agree some and disagree some? I I, I think I'm. That's why I said I'm torn. Cause it's like if he would. If he would deliver it better, it might be received. You may better. receive it better, but if you immediately. But he's not wrong all, all the time. He not, of course, he's not wrong all the time. Cause right. I like what he say on some stuff. Right, and you be like, okay, well, I see what he's saying. Yeah, right, you see but what he say, just it's so. the way you say. He, why you gotta say leave that hole where she at? Like come across. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have to, and then why a black woman? It could just be woman. It's, that's it's, why I it's feel like it's more. Though. It's provocative. Yeah. Let's just see. That's, let me hear. They're going to they gonna tear my head off. Let's see. For me, y'all cannot understand when I explain that if a woman does not respect you, she will not submit to you. You will not have this fucking relationship goal. Tame a woman. That's my bitch. She ain't gonna look at nobody else. Wifey material ass situations when you with a woman that she does not respect you as the man that you are. And you can't teach a woman how to respect you. That shit comes based on her getting to know you. And seeing value in you that she feels like needs to be respected. Now, from what she just said, I thought Anton might agree with that. Me too. Because But or do Anton be like, it don't matter. She should respect you period. any way it goes. Because you a man. Because you the man. Because you the man. And you Not, deserve that respect. Right. Versus because for a woman, she got to, according to Anton, of course, she got to earn everything, right? A woman. <laughs> but for men, it should just happen. It should just be. Mm. See, that's why I'm like, I don't, I don't, really, know, if, I don't really know. I don't know if Anton say that. I don't know if it's just cut and dry like that. I, I got to hear some more. Let's see what he say on this one. Huh? That's him. <laughs> I told y'all dudes, some of y'all, you don't spend a lifetime getting pussy, but you ain't conquered now, woman. You fuck a lot of bitches, mm. but you conquered none. Meaning you've been in the bed with bitches that while you in them, they don't trust you. Mm. Time you get up, 
they're ready to argue with you. The energy between y'all be so <laughs> toxic, so negative. Everything she got to say overall has to do with manipulating and controlling you as a man. Y'all won't listen when I'm explaining to y'all. Respect is what gets a woman to be submissive, to listen to you different, to, to talk to you different, to care differently about what you want for yourself. Y'all just don't get this. It's always, but love, what about this? But love, what if these bitches this? Mm. 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 I explained the other day when I was on the one-on-one -on -one with the dude, nigga make over $500,000 a year, trying to understand how to, you know, set his lifestyle up. He want to deal with multiple women. He don't want to lie to him. He want now hold up stop the cap <laughs> this somebody somebody making five hundred thousand a year mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and he having women problems respect from women problems that, and actually you just said he could maybe he could have sex with a lot of women but that don't mean no but think about it if you a woman now. and a guy making five hundred thousand a year Mm -hmm. you going to get him that respect because you're going to think about all the benefits you're going to get from that 500000 You're going to be like, if, why wouldn't I expect but, him? He doing his thing. He making money. Usually, that's what... Not if you're what, just trying to get some of that 500000 You just want him to no, buy I'm you saying, a bag. You want him to take you shopping. No, 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 no. I'm saying, take if, you on I'm saying if y'all getting to know each other, like really trying to be if, in right? a relationship. Not that's like she's just trying to... I'm just saying, if we, if you coming into it like a legit relationship, like y'all met and you found this out from y'all yeah, well, getting to know course, each other, it's a legit relationship. But if you just yeah. out here, but no, she said even hooking up with, with women, and oh, you, yeah. you know what I'm saying, well, you, you feel like I got, the, I got money, so they should just this. No, 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 not they should. I'm just saying, in your mind, you would say he doing everything uh -huh. he uh -huh. should be doing if he making five hundred thousand. In my opinion. Yeah, my opinion too. But some women may <laughs> just look at it like, if uh, again, depending on what type of relationship this is, what type of meet and greet, what type of how this started, then she may just be in it for the dollars, the money, and not really care what she don't care. Yeah, but being in she it don't... for the money, you would say, okay, I need to give this man whatever he needs so I could get. Nah, the yeah, rewards. but they may be. Yeah, but that don't mean respect. That just may maybe mean sex. Like she just said, you may have have you may be having sex with a lot of women, but that don't mean but nothing. But you still not respect her. Yeah, you ain't. You ain't. That don't mean nothing. Wanted to be only women that actually want to be in situations like that. Cool. Y'all not can help a bitch organize their life however they want it when it comes to this relationship shit. <laughs> the issue is you got to have a certain level of self-esteem already before you go socialize and try to deal with other people. You have to have a certain level of respect for yourself for you to go out and want people to respect you. All right. I think I've heard enough. Um, <laughs> the problem with this conversation and the problem with this is that um, a woman that is moving a certain type of way or a woman that is respectable, and this is why I keep telling y'all that it's a difference between uh, hoes and housewives, right? And I use those two, you know, mainly just to make a point because there are some in-betweens, right? But in a general <laughs> sense, a chick that's respectable is going to be respectable regardless. I agree with that. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, I, I yeah. think it's a certain... I mean, you're going to have that respect anyway. Yeah. Unless you a certain type of woman. Unless who, you a certain type of woman. That's what I said. Depending on what type of woman this $500,000 guy was dating. Just depends. Yeah. Of the man that she's around or, you know, who it is that she's up under. Listen, the same way that you're going to respect your boss is the same way that you're going to respect me. My wife, specifically, she would never, ever not respect men because that's just inherently who she is she doesn't have to be tamed and calmed down and not twist her neck or she don't twist her neck around certain dudes and then other dudes she she feel like she can be a disrespectful chick that's what we call a chameleon right and so i wouldn't advise any guy to try to go out and conquer a woman first of all if she don't understand her inherent value is her femininity and that 
the way mm -hmm. in which she get things done and the way in which men start to treat her and the, and the reason that she can open up certain doors and why she can getting certain things out of, out of certain people and all of that, if she don't understand that her true superpowers are femininity, then why would you want to be hanging around this hoe in the first place, right? <laughs> I'm never going to sit here and try to tame a chick, right? I'm going to move how I'm going to move. Now, I just need to be able to dodge and bob and weave the ones that's not, that's not respectable. That's what we call for the But Anton, forgetting the fact that it's men and women out here that's attracted to those type of people. First of all, a woman, a respectable woman, is she respects men and women. I don't talk to men or women in a way that I wouldn't want to be talked to. I don't think it's okay to twirl my, what he say, twist your neck and to anybody. I don't want to talk to anybody like that as a respectable woman. So I don't like how he, how he always put it man versus woman thing. It's if you're a respectable person, you're a respectable person, you respect people and you talk to people in a certain way. No, but maybe he, right. But you talk about that type of woman. Yeah, he talk about a chameleon woman that might be respectable to this people, these people. But he said this, or this man, man but this man, I'm like, no, you just she look at him like, oh, he ain't nothing. I could, I could be disrespectful to him because he ain't. He so ain't she's nothing. not a respectable. What I'm saying is that she yes, chameleon. she's she, right, okay. I get what he's saying, but so, and I think she could do that with a woman. Oh, because she got this, I respect her. Right, but like a boss. Yeah, yeah, but this woman over here with. With whatever is going on, I ain't got to respect her. I can talk to her, I call her B, I call her a hoe because I don't have to. That's what I mean. Like, if you're a respectable woman, it's it's equal playing field, not just man, not just a man. You respect people for everybody, everybody. So, that's what I mean when he be putting, putting us against men only. But uh, go ahead, the streets now. What this woman specifically don't understand is that men slot women. See, it's not about what slot women. What does that mean? Maybe you're gonna explain. That. Trying to tame a hoe is being able to identify the difference between a hoe and a housewife. And most guys don't understand that you don't make a hoe a housewife. It's women for the streets. You treat them accordingly. She may be the jump off. You may be inside of her, similar to what she's talking about. But I'm not looking for no love from you. I'm not looking to tame you. I'm not even looking to make you anything and whatever it is that you are that specific night you a moment mm. and i'm paying you to leave i'm not paying you to stay you know what mm. i'm saying the other side of the equation is that when you find a woman that's just respectable mm. you ain't got to sit here and do all of that negotiating and trying to figure out how she gonna respect you and move in a certain type of way listen you are who you are and your confidence is supposed to be internal so i do advise guys to work on who they are and to move confidently because that extends into every aspect of your life. It extends into corporate America. It extends into business. It extends into networking. Confidence is key. And so that's an entirely different conversation. But when we're talking about the nature of a woman, let's be clear. All women ain't for the streets and all women ain't looking to be tamed. All women don't have to be tamed. Some women are just respectable and respectful when it comes to dealing with men. They understand that a man is a man and they're never going to get out of place and they're never going to get out of... Uh, character and the problem is that our culture and western norms have become so toxic that we come to expect this we've trained these chicks to be disrespectful or to feel like they can say anything to anybody until they run up against the right one man listen if if you ever deal with a woman to where you got to put her put her in her place now i'm not i'm not saying that you know a certain woman in which because all women eventually get out of line right and i'm not talking about get out of line <laughs> oh my god hey. like, oh, he said let me finish she said i don't mean out of line like what let me hear let me hear i don't know disrespectful <laughs> twisting their neck snatch eventually get out of line right and i'm not talking about get out of line on no disrespectful twisting their neck snatching dreams out the air getting out of line i'm talking about <laughs> all women um you know needs to be needs to be put in a place as far as helping them to understand their role within a relationship or their role within a marriage that's not what we talking about. We talking about women that feel comfortable putting their hands on men, talking negative to men. If you even dealing with that chick in the first place, then you shouldn't even, you shouldn't even, she shouldn't even be in your vicinity. She shouldn't even be around you. And so I'm starting to question why y'all feel like y'all need to be dealing and taming, taming these hoes 
When all you got to do is go and be around the people that celebrate you, not the people that tolerate you. If a woman feels there's, you know, what was his name? Blueface and Christian and all of that stuff. And this dude was, was walking around and being destroyed and mentally in a different space and all of that. And I'm, I, the only thing I kept thinking of is who would deal with such intolerable women? My mom ain't never been in. Now they go back to what you were saying. Some men like that type of stuff. They were they they are a toxic couple together. <laughs> together, them two, blue face and that it girl. It wasn't just her. It's not just her. They are seriously. I don't think they together no more. Like... But they were <clears throat> a toxic couple. A, just that's what they are or were. Did, did they feed off each other? Yeah, I, I really believe that. I really believe it because like you like you you cannot stay in a relationship like that if you don't like that stuff. You gotta like it. You gotta like it because you could just leave. He's not somebody who had to stay with, with one woman. He he got money. He's well known. He could have women. He didn't have that stuff you gotta like. You know what I mean? You you do. You you that's what you were saying. Yeah. You know? Some people it go men and women. You be like, why? Why she keep going back to this dude who treat us her way or yeah, smack exactly. her around? Both it's ways. Like they, it goes both. You gotta. They like don't that like it, but stuff. they drawn to it for some reason. It's for like, whatever reason, I don't know, and I, I don't want to talk about people who maybe could be stuck in a situation. No, I ain't talking about that. Cannot I'm just get saying. out of it for real. Because if but you people some pe do look for that. Yeah, some people get in a regular it, relationship and they yeah. be like, this, this it's is boring. boring. Yeah. He boring, she boring. It's yeah. like. I, I'd rather get slapped around or I'd rather get cheated on or I'd rather right, get this. Right, because at least you got something going on. People like, some people like... <laughs> no, I'm saying I'd rather no. deal with the bad stuff because right. I'm going to get what I do like from the first. Right. Which Maybe is so. Crazy. It could oh, be man. attention. It could just be attention. You want, you know, you just like somebody who is, you know... Toxic. Toxic. They give you... <laughs> that type of energy. And now, before we go too far, when he said that women... You know, you shouldn't be with no woman who thinks she can hit. You. Yeah, that's true. First of all, <laughs> she can hit you. Yeah, you know, but me as a woman, I'm smart enough to know that I cannot, I should not attempt to fight a man. And gonna, it's, respect, yeah, okay. But I also know that I should not attempt to. You are twice my size. Why would I attempt to, because if you smack me back, what, the, what am I going to do? I don't know, but keep your hands over there. Keep up, boy. I, well, I may take my chances, <laughs> but I'm smart enough not to because, right? If you decide to hit me back, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the one sorry at the end. I mean, mm -hmm. you may be sorry the next day, but mm -hmm. at that moment, I may be the one sorry. But we go ahead. Let Intolerable. Me my wife. I don't teach my daughter to ever even be in a space to where she would ever feel comfortable talking negatively to it. She respect everybody <laughs> from her coaches to the guys that's in her school. Oh my God, I thought we said everybody. To her uncles, to every single person that she comes in contact with, she's taught to move respectfully and acknowledge. Why do you say a, a woman, her aunties? Her, her wife, her mama. Her, her mom, her grandmother. Her, what? We only name men. Okay, keep going. Acknowledge the fact that these are men, and I don't care how much you want Taekwondo. Taekwondo taught her how to have discipline. It's not teaching her how to come up against men just because she's she knows how to protect herself. That's all. And man. so the inherent nature and the inherent value of a woman is based off of her femininity. So if you see women, if you walking down the street and you see a woman that's ghetto and unruly and culturally trash, run. Don't try to tame her. Don't try to fix her. Don't try to move with so much confidence that you got to be able to put her in her place and all of that. No, nah, that's not what it is. You go find a person or you go align your... Matter of fact, let me let me give you another another thing. Stop chasing these hoes mm. and start networking effectively. And then you're going to start to put yourself in the spaces where the only type of women that you deal with are women that's of respect because they understand and they move in certain circles and they've been trained to move a certain type of way because they wouldn't even be invited into the party or they wouldn't even be invited into the circle if they wasn't moving a certain type of way because we just don't deal with that shit. Mm. That's my advice to y'all. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I'm curious as to what y'all think about this whole mm. video um, because it just confirms what it is that I already know and what I've been teaching y'all. 
gonna holla at y'all later, man. Peace. Mm -hmm. <laughs> First of all, but see, that's what I'm saying. It's like when Charleston White, you be like half the stuff you you agree with, but other stuff you be like, oh man. Yeah, he went a little too far. Maybe he went a little too far. <laughs> because I get what he's saying. Again, I get what he's saying. Yes, don't date women. That's a, I, I I feel like that because I'll after be like women. I'll be like, I feel run to the bathroom. <laughs> You'll be like, this nigga that left me. <laughs> There you I, be gone, right? I ain't put no way. You wouldn't that put up with that. That's it's, just, it's that's stupid. and that's because of who you are and what type of person you are. People deal with what they want to deal with. So you telling guys this, but if they don't, if they already on that in right, that right. space in that mind, they not gonna do it anyway. You don't have to. Tell yeah, that's them that. what. That's the only thing he he not saying is that. Yeah, like, it's people out here that like that stuff. Right. They like a girl to be super ghetto. Right. Or they like a nerdy girl. Right. But or it ain't like you're going to go get you a nerdy girl. If you like a right, ghetto you, girl. Right. So. You, that, that's what I'm saying. That's what he not. That's what he not. You speaking. Or. Or. Maybe he's saying you could like a ghetto girl. But don't. But you got to find the one that got some respect for herself and you. Right, babe? Of course. Now that. Of course. But. He's saying pretty much he's like these girls with this drama, these girls who going to want to hit you, girls who don't have no respect for you. That's what he's saying, right? That's what his... He, he just said respect, period. Respect, period. I didn't for like that whole... That... Because when he even when he brought the whole karate thing about that, tell his daughter discipline not to step to a man. That, that teaches men the same thing. It's about discipline, not only self-defense. It teaches the men or the boys in the class the same thing. It's about discipline. We know that. Mm. Christy and Karate, it's about discipline. So it's not just because she a girl. This is what she getting out of it. No. See, that's what I'm saying. Certain things that he say the way he say it. Right. I mean, he ain't meaning it said, like you said. He's meaning it like... She he didn't say she, Taekwondo he her, her taught her grandmother. discipline and no, he said to, to use to, it to self defense, not to attack. Pretty men, much. man, man, yeah, yeah. To teach for this video, men. he talked about men, but it teach you that for anybody. That, but that's not what he just said. I know, but for this, that's video, what I mean when I say the way he, the way he, he yeah, he said it. We versus know that. We it's know how that. he said it. That's how. That's what, that's what said. I was saying. That's what how he say his messages. How he. How they come across as a woman who does respect <laughs> everybody, especially my husband. You didn't have to teach me that, which is what he's saying. You shouldn't have to teach a woman respect, mm -hmm. right? I don't know. Did you have to earn it? No, you were a good guy from the beginning. I mean, that was easy to do. You was a little rough around the edges, but I was. Hey, came I came around. from a different side of town from you. I don't know if I was rough around that rough around the edge. So we balanced each other out. out of town way a long time ago. <laughs> anyway, all right, another Anton Daniels message right. received. <laughs> received. Heard loud and clear. Yeah. I just think it's how he give it. They make sense. What he's saying makes sense. It's just. I I mean. I, shout out to Anton. Yeah. I wish his wife was on here too. Oh, and kind of yeah. give her her side. Not giving her side, but kind of, you know, because if just, you hear it from her, right, it'll, it'll sound much better. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Just to get it from the woman's who, perspective. Who he, yeah. Who he speak of. Because she going to say the same thing, but she going to say it in a, in a, it different, maybe in a way, different way. Where you'll be like, well, I mean, it's understandable. I think we say the same stuff and it'd be in different ways. And at the end of the day, we'd be like, well, that's what I just said. But that's what we'd be saying. Like, that's what I was saying. He'd be like, that's not, but that ain't we'd be like, yes, it is. We both said the same thing. <laughs> yeah. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, anyway, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let me Thank y'all for watching. They're going to tear my head off. This is a good one. <laughs> he always get us talking just like... Uh, Charles and White. Yeah, but... Thank y'all for watching. Y'all like the video. Subscribe. Please. Tell us what y'all think that, about all this. All that. All that. All that. Anton Daniels.